Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to set a dynamic meta title description and this keyword. So for example, if we are on home page, it should show home page. If you click on HTML or PHP or Laravel, so it's specific title description and keywords should come as we have seen that we have created in our category or the post. Okay. So as we have seen that we have a meta title description and keyword. So these are the options we have created from the back end, which will be using in the front end guys. So over here also you can see that meta title description and keyword, right? So that data we have to, however, fetch in our page. So this helps in the SEO purpose guys for our blog post. So now let's get started. So let's move to index.php and first set this okay so let's go to index.php file so guys first you can find here header so what is inside header let me just check so we have here the header where is title and we have a database connection so before this only we will declare a variable right so that meta title meta keyword and description should work Guys, now let's build that. So let me just comment this for the reference purpose. Okay. So this is our title, guys. So let's set up with the PHP. PHP open, PHP close, where let's give a if condition. Let's check out with the is set function, where I will tell as meta title or page title, anything. So which is comfortable for your name, naming convention, you can follow that echo where inside this you are going to echo your page underscore title the same name okay same name if you did not give any title then you can give a else condition and you can tell echo where you are going to copy php blog website done and now guys coming to the meta tags and meta keyword so let's tell meta meta tag where name is equal to description and then your content. So let's copy this. We are going to copy your title code and paste inside the content. So let's paste and I'm not going to add the else part in this description. If you require, you can add it or else I'm going to leave blank guys. So so now you can this is for your key words okay it's s so keywords and then if you want the author also you can add author author to funda of web it so now guys let's copy this meta description and tell meta underscore description copy and paste this is your keyword meta under keywords okay copy and paste so now so you need to access this header in every page as we have you can see that we have already accessed so guys now if you give after this page title page underscore title is equal to null it will not be able to read okay because the title is already declared above then it is coming down right so let's make this top here set and then your dollar meta description description is equal to insert double quotes and then your keyword let me just copy that spelling meta keyword all set so same way your description also so do not take all set guys so now here I will tell home page okay and here you can tell home page description or blogging website anything so just give your description here i'll give php html css laravel code igniter react js whatever content okay so now guys let's see the output for this let's refresh cool so you can see guys that title has been changed to home page and for the 
meta tag in description let's inspect and see guys so let me just show you so let's move below on the head let's move on the head tag here at your description meta description meta keyword and your author so all the contents are coming perfect guys so whatever we have pasted that is coming so you can just paste that same code in your login so paste and make this to login page login page okay so you can refresh let's log out now once let's click on login login i did not give the title for register let's see what happens click on register here it shows php blog website okay so that is your else part in your header so this is the else part guys if you don't have that title then you will face with this else part so same thing copy again and paste your register.php yep so save and refresh let's change the title register refresh here you got the output so guys now we have successfully fetched our meta title description and keyword for the static pages but now we want for the dynamic pages also so like on your category.php we have a title called php tutorial so that tutorial should be visible in your meta title okay description keyword so guys now let's close this files let's go to our category.php so here comes your dynamic ways okay so guys for that you need to set up your database connection and check that it is there or not so for that case guys so let me just copy this code paste here so now guys you are going to set up your database connection first i mean your code for fetching from your category page okay so from here your category view so you can just copy and paste the code from below so let me just copy this control c and paste it here we close close give a else part close control x so if you don't have any title or anything so that time you can set category page so this comes for your category page guys now when you have the title and you don't find a record so at that case you are going to show the else part and same content you can place it guys so no issues if you have a different way you can use it either you can create a function and call that function over here so guys for teaching purpose i am doing directly okay so yes let's copy this again once if the content is found you are going to show it over here so now guys what are those contents so from your categories i need the meta title description and keyword let's go so you can just select with your categories and click on structure so here's your meta title so let's copy this and paste here so dollar your category item of what meta title so let's copy this and paste here from your select query what all data you are getting one is slug then your meta title then you need to get your meta description also so let's get that description and your final keyword guys so let's get this keyword keyword all set if you don't want this id you can just remove that we are going to use only these items so yep let's copy this paste and paste 
so for the description add description for meta keyword add meta keyword let's save and now guys let's execute it so before um, let me show you the error first refresh so we are getting this undefined variable con why because your database connection is defined in header.php right so it's asking before only here your database connections so guys for that case you are going to use a let's copy this from below and paste here let's make this config.php so one will be a config.php where all the database connection for front end will give okay so let's copy this and create a file inside your include folder with config.php let me keep in first so now guys go to your header.php and just copy the code Control x and paste so yep now no changes guys only i have just removed from the header the database connection and pasted in a config file okay so now let's close this header part and call this config file in each of your page so i'll just show you in your category.php as we have called this same with your index so just call that config file that's it and go to your login call the config file let's go to post paste that config file and for your register also let's paste it so all the pages i have pasted guys now let me just close this register.php and let's work on the post guys so let me refresh all set so there is no error so now if you click on php php tutorials when i click on laravel here you find laravel tutorial react react js tutorial perfect so now guys when you click on this how to install laravel 8 you need to find that how to install laravel 8 in your title so right now it's showing php block that is your else part in your header so guys now let's set this also so it's very simple we have already written the code let's copy this and paste close it here we go at the else part paste so now you need to copy that code so let's copy this from the else and paste all set so instead of category we are going to tell post post and you will select star not all the things but we will select few things so let's tell slug and your meta title meta description and your meta underscore keyword so make sure your spellings are correct let's move on posts here you find meta title description and keyword all set where we select only limit of one so only one record is there so you can send that limit one also and here you are going to change this the category run to post run and this is your let's tell this is your meta post items okay so which will make a differentiate in it all set let's copy this and paste in your else part if title is not there so let's give a different variable so it may not clash with the below code okay so you can just let difference you have to give guys save and here that's it so let's save and now guys let's test the output refresh perfect so how to install laravel 8 we have done here okay let's move on php how to insert data into database perfect let me just check out with the next insert data in laravel okay so guys we have successfully completed how to integrate our seo tags or meta tags in our php page so in this video that's it thank you for watching this video guys and please continue next video about new topic in this series
please subscribe like and share